story will inspire you. I'm going to tell you about the story of Edwin C. Barnes. Edwin C. Barnes had nothing. He had nothing except one goal. And his goal was to become the business partner of Thomas Edison. This is a true story. The story is taken from a book called Think and Grow Rich. Mr. Edison. Mr. Edison. Mr. Edison, I'm Edwin C. Barnes, your new partner. But he didn't even have the money to buy a train ticket. How do you do, sir? Yes, uh, how much for a ticket to Orange, New Jersey? $16.40. He wanted to be in partnership with the greatest inventor in the world, but he didn't even have the money to get to him. I believe he had something far more important than money, a burning desire. Yes, I'm here to meet Mr. Edison. Do you have an appointment? No, but tell him that Mr. Edwin C. Barnes is here to meet with him and that I said he'll be very glad to have met me. Thank you. So here he is, Mr. Edwin C. Barnes, meeting his dream, standing no. right in tell front him of I don't him care. We are against not all odds. We have to do. Follow me for part four. So, you're the man I will be glad to have met, are you? Yes, Mr. Edwin C. Barnes. And what have you invented, Mr. Barnes? Nothing, Mr. Not an inventor? No, sir, I'm a businessman. And your aim is? To be your partner in business, sir. You're not looking for a job? Sir, I will take whatever job you have to offer, but my ultimate goal is to be in partnership Mr. Thomas A. Edison. You seem pretty sure of yourself for a man who hasn't invented anything. Ah, uh, I have something far more powerful. And what might that be? I am not interested in anything other than this one goal, and I will do whatever it takes to get it. You know, I turn away a hundred men every week. I am not So he's surprised. standing here Most in front of Thomas Edison, the greatest inventor of all time, plucker, and he's so persistent that he's refill. not that giving up shirt. on this you one stand goal. Here with nothing. Sir. Desire is not nothing. I guess not. I have vision. I believe it will come true one day, and I will stick by that, however long and hard the path. I've learned over the years that when a man desires a thing so deeply that he's willing to sacrifice his entire future on a single turn of the wheel just to get it, you should never bet against that man. So where should I start working my way out? Tell Mr. Burroughs to start you in the stock room. <laughs> Thank you. Edwin C. Barnes was persistent in reaching his goal, but he's also patient. So just like that, he started working his way up to get his dream with Thomas Edison. Isn't that crazy? What are you dreaming of? No. Demand. No. No market. No. It is not how much it costs, gentlemen. It's how much time and manpower is saved by this dictating machine. I don't think my region's gonna go for it, Mr. Edison. Your region is New York. Besides, it doesn't save manpower. It saves women's time. And secretaries are 10 cents a dance. <laughs> I believe I can sell you a dictating machine, Mr. Edison. In New York? In every city in America. One day, the office in every town's gonna have one of these. Time is money. When you save one, you make the other. 
Even women's time? No such thing. Time's time. What's this? Plans. To sell your invention. This is a marketing plan. Barnes, I'm giving you the job of head of sales of the Edison dictating machine. For the whole region? For the country. I'll have them draw up a contract. You won't regret it. And you won't be riding any more freight trains. As he had envisioned, Edwin C. Barnes became the business partner of Thomas Edison under the slogan built by Edison installed by Barnes. Their partnership lasted more than 30 years and made Edwin C. Barnes a very rich man. But more importantly, he proved the power of desire.